Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Stay Tuned. Everything has been taken care of other than the bare necessities for the final stretch of the game. So without further ado, we go into 5D to find the remote. Oh wait, there is one more thing I have to take care of. Uh, be right back. Go ahead, call the cops. I've been dunked before. I can take it. Ah, uh, don't believe you'll be getting in here, Bob. Precinct 20, Stokowski speaking. Now, calm down. What's that? A donut gone mad? Say it stands about six feet tall. It's glazed, you say? Uh, chocolate or the sugary pink stuff? The pink stuff. Now, just relax. I need to know, does it have any sprinkles on it? What do you mean you don't remember? Think! Think, dog on it! All right, don't get hysterical. I'm on my way over, and I'll radio ahead for some coffee. <laughs> yes? Yeah, he was glazed. Yeah, yeah, it was the pink stuff. Delicious. You wouldn't believe it. Ugh. Case closed. All right, now we can go into 5D. Let's not wait any longer. Well, um, it is new. I don't know, to me it's kind of a, uh, I don't know. There's cats. Well, first thing you may have noticed that it's, it's completely upside down. So, yeah, don't adjust the video. Or whatever. It is just upside down. But anyway, stuff to click on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Elvis? About time, I can say, kind of. I. Ugh. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. There's so many cats in this room. This room is actually two rooms it's the living room and the kitchen. Which we'll go to later, but there's tons of cats. More cats. I agree, cat. He kind of meows at the same time, but mouse hole can't do anything with. A lot of fizzy, fizz, fizz pop. TV. I fixed the cable. Why isn't the cable working? Or is this just what he watches all day? Let's get his opinion. And when are you going to fix the window? What window? This one in the kitchen. It doesn't open. So what? Complain, complain, complain. Or get more bickering. Can't you see I'm busy here? Amazing. What is that thing stuck to his hand? Or was stuck to his hand. This thing right here. That he's kind of using as a remote. It looks like, um, what is it? It's a, it's a thing for cooking that you stick in the oven, like you stick in the turkey and see its internal temperature. That thing. That thermometer. Internal thermometer. I don't know what it's called. And Mr. Kronk called about his leaky faucet again. Kronk funk. I don't need this hassle. What did you call me? Yes, he called three times this morning. All right, all right already. His hair is awful. It's not even a comb over. Can't a guy get any peace and quiet around here? Jeez. I guess it's kind of humor in terms of marital problems, but I can't see. Let's tickle him. <laughs> Um, what else comes out of him? <laughs> oh my! 
<laughs> okay, something else comes out of him, I know it. Okay. That's all I need. That's all you can do in here. One thing I kind of want to point out is that the threshold for the out is pretty much the entire floor ceiling. This part here. I find it kind of odd that half of the room is out. But anyway. The kitchen. What awaits? Our landlord, Mrs. Finley. It's her room. Why would be directed here? Well, if you've been following all the hints, you probably know why. But anyway, more cats. What does this make? Maybe 11 cats in her... Ah, and this is an apartment. And there's no beds. Still no beds. Anyway, cats. She even reacts to the cat's reactions. So, look at both spaces. She doesn't react to that cat, though. Like, really? No? It's happened too much? Black cat. You need declawing if you're going to be angry. And she's surprised by that one. Maybe it's because he poops back in like magic after he's blown to ashes. I love my cat. The Daily Tune. Yeah, we can't really read the newspapers after the Daily Tune pretty much gibberish. Uh, more cat! Cat's taking nothing from nobody. Another cat! Mousetrap cat! Next to cat goop and dried mice. A lot of mice for a lot of cats. I can't seem to do anything with this cat though. That goes back out to the upside down room. Uh, oh, here we go. Pretty much. Apparently she has chores on the refrigerator. Feed cats, bathe, and evict tenants. Eh, just like a regular landlord. I wouldn't know. I really wouldn't know. Grocery list, cat food, cat litter, mice, and of course, Gravy. Always gravy. And apparently something from Dizzy World and a smiley face. Let's talk to her. What are you looking at? I want to talk. Who? Tunes? No, dear, I don't have a radio, you see. Huh, the young ones today never read the paper. Apparently, she's been completely oblivious to the entire tune situation that's been going on for how long? Even though she's been punched in the face, she's been running around the hallway, she's seen nothing. <sighs> Go ask that loser of a husband of mine. I'd rather not. Well, you might as well stay for supper. It's in the oven. In the oven? And that's all she does after you finish her dialogue speech. She just kind of shows your teeth. But what's in the oven, I say? That's a hot pan, child. You'll need an oven mitt for that. I'd let you use my oven mitt, but some freak took it. Really? But there was something in there. I want to know. And I need an oven mitt. Ugh. What was in there? Swiss Army, Gouda King, an eyeball and a jar of pickles. Oh well. The window! Mrs. Finley is quite a dame, a woman of worldly fame. 
She's nosy and rude, always in a foul mood, a bad lady we'd love to disclaim. Another wonderful quartet number. Now one last thing I was I neglected to go over was where this cat jumped into. The litter box. Oh, more digging. It keeps switching cursors for some reason. It goes to a speech bubble and then it goes to a down arrow and then it goes to the left arrow. That's what you get for playing in the kitty litter. Now that's what I call a sticky or should I say stinky cursor. <laughs> this is probably, probably the final thing in the game that you can get your cursor stuck to. Cat poo. As if the game knows no bounds. And you, you can even still click. I think that's a better nose for her. But anyway, we can't do anything. We need to get into that oven, but we need an oven mitt. Where can we find an oven mitt? Well, not in here. However, there has been one final place outside of 5D that I have not gone to. And guess what? It's back in the amusement park once more. Let's go. 4B. Follow Fiddle. A bunch of stinking Remember the photo booth from way back when? Well, it told us to see the freaks. And there just so happens to be a tent o freaks here. Let's go see! Ladies, gentlemen, not so gentlemen, children of all ages, hurry, hurry, step right up, don't be shy, Miriam and Bruno Carnival welcomes you to a show so incredible, so astounding, so horrifying, that it has to be seen to be believed! But, since we don't have a show like that, we've decided to present a freak show instead! Alright! Bunch of freak bullies! Gather round, friends! I'll be your barker for the show! Bob's the name. Hi, Bob! Hi, Bob! Hi! Our first freak will bring a tear to your eye! Meet Blinky, Orb of the Orient! He's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye! is one of the worst musicians you'll ever hear. But look closely, boys and girls. That's no concertina. That's his hands. Hold your nose, folks, and meet Melvin, the marvelous manure man of Minnesota. He may be old, but we haven't put him out to pasture yet. Now we have for you an amazing conundrum of consumption. Betty, the belching bearded lady, had a promising career as a high school cafeteria worker before she took her food shoveling talents to the stage. Ooh, that's impressive! Meet Betty's husband, Merv. Not only does Merv enjoy wearing his wife's house dresses, but his talent as a human candle keeps their marriage sizzling. Oh? Bow now. Three card Monty is a favorite here at the carnival. He's always willing to lend a hand to someone in need. But be careful, this guy always has a card up his sleeve. If he had sleeves, that is. Boris, the living boar skin rug, is truly a marvel of nature. We found this delightful critter working for a baby photographer in Flushing. <laughs> and here's another freak of nature to astound and mystify. Best known for being the before model of an Acme commercial, we bring you Stuart the Unspeakable! <laughs> The legendary cheese goblin is a fantastic beast from the wilds of Wisconsin. 
I'll chime in here. Get some cheese. You can get some cheese from him. We found these little darlings wandering the carnival grounds. If you've lost them, please contact the front desk. Let's have a big hand for Minnie. This dancing fool is All? too hot to handle. Give it. You found the oven mitt. Hey, can you handle it or what? I'm gonna go now. And that concludes our fabulous freak show. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you enjoy the rest of our carnival. If you go into the tent of freaks early on, you can get the oven mitt there and as well as a piece of cheese. I believe that's three spots in the game that you can get cheese. The vault, the tent of freaks, and winning schlepperty. But with that said, we now have the oven mitt. So that means we can head up to back to the fifth floor. Where's it gonna take me? Woo! Oh, the third floor. We need a little green, I suppose. Back up to the fifth floor, though. Chill out. I'll have it fixed in a minute. But we now have the oven mitt. So let's get back into 5D. For the end of the game. Yes, this is the end of the game. When you get the oven mitt and you get into this room and open the oven, we're gonna hit end game. If you can call it that. So let's see what's inside. You did it! You found a remote control! Now you have all the power! I have all the power of television! And so Endgame ends with a shooter. The shooter pretty much is you fight all of these uber bugs and you fight the uber bugs. You shoot the uber bugs and you see way in the back that the count that the elevator lights pretty much count as your hits. Once they are completely done, one of the tunes pops up. However, if you get hit um, either once or a multiple amount of times, the lights will fall down. That's pretty much it to this game. So let's zap Fiddle, whom we saw and threw fish at us, I suppose. If he'll show up. Come on. Gotcha. That looks so painful, actually. This is what happens when you press return on your remote, and it's radioactive. What is it? It's like almost an episode of The Simpsons here. So who's the next tune? Fiddle was first. As we fight more Uber bugs. Scoops! He throws pizza, and is also gone. I have no idea what that'd be like, just having your particles kind of fizz out and get teleported. But anyway, since this is pretty much it as I'm zapping the tunes back into the TV once and for all, I might as well give my two cents about the game. This game is a lot of fun, and it was definitely a lot of fun back in the day. It was, however, it was one of those games where I suppose it was ahead of its time because not a lot of 
places not a lot of computers could actually play it. But it's a lot of zany fun. Hi, Schmooze. He throws anvils. But it's a lot of zany fun. It has a lot of games, as I've shown. It's random. It's cartoony. You pretty much live a childhood's dream of cartoons coming to life and interacting with them. It may do with a lot. It may do with the 3D technology fairly well for its time. And goodbye, Schmooze. That has to hurt his eye. But anyway. Oh yeah, after you beat three tunes, now the penguins start getting ya. And the penguins are actually really worse than the uber bugs. They're far more evil. Ah, chisel! But, like I was saying, it incorporated the 3D very well, for its time. It wasn't that the 3D was a necessity, though. A lot of things, it pretty much was an ob- This pretty much had a lot of optional things. Not a lot of mandatory ideas. But the idea of randomizing pretty much everything in the game brought it a lot of replay, of replay value that I saw. So, that was definitely something to behold back in this day, because a lot of games did not have replay value, and this one certainly did with a lot of different branches for solving problems, and you never knew what was going to happen when you opened the next door, which I liked. And the penguin guarded him. Chisel, done. In sheer agony. But yes, the replay value is probably the number one thing out of the that this game brings out. There's just so many things happening around that it gives it a lot of fun things to do. And Pixel is the final tune. And she throws bombs at you. But that's pretty much my two cents for this game, as I'm getting hurled with bombs and mice. I think that's fitting. So, this has been Let's Play Stay Tuned. I've had a lot of fun with this Let's Play, actually, to be honest. Um, I thought I was going to have a lot of technical problems with this game because of um, potential crashes or anything that was going to happen because it was running it so far into the future of when it was actually going to be played. But, no, I think everything went smoothly. I think. You tell me differently, I suppose. So, this has been Let's Play Stay Tuned. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next Let's Play, I'm O'Reilly. And see you next time, everybody.
Well, that's the end. El Finito. Time to call it quits. I'm out of here, and so are you. 